welcome back to the fourth part of duplicate stuff inside After Effects, more of the same thing. This is Eran Stern for creativecow.net and in this part we will do something which is really fun. We will clone elements, video elements this time, with the help of the clone tool inside the paint module of After Effects. But before we will go into this, let me just remind you where we are now. So this is the stage we have here. The group of falling stars from the skies, the four pirate ship, and the group of dancers that are standing on the peace bridge. Okay, I will stop the run preview. And now before we will do the cloning, let me just show you what we will work with. Here we have a folder named Yuval Green Screen. Let me open it and show you the original footage because I think it's really funny. So I will hold down Alt and double click it in order to open it in the footage window. Let's go full screen here and create ourselves a RAM preview. And you can see this is of course again Yuval and he is of course on a chair flying at the green screen studio towards us at some point and we will take this footage and cut it and duplicate couple of Peter Pan's Yuval that will fly on top of our scene. So I will stop the RAM preview, get out of full screen, and before doing so, let me just show you what I've prepared already. I will open this comp named Flying Key. Here you see that I took this footage and rotate it couple of degrees so that we will have Yuval parallel to the horizon line. And you can also see that I masked the chair out of the frame and these masks are moving. So I just placed a couple of keyframes in the masks and you can hit M in order to see our masks. We have three masks and you can also look if you want. There are a couple of keyframes in the mask path because of Yuval's jacket. I needed to mask it over and record a few keyframes. This is not so much of a big deal to do. And also on top of this, if I will hit F3, I will call the effect controls for this layer. I've already placed the key light effect, which I'm not going to cover over here. But as you can see now, if we will press the toggle transparency, we've got ourselves the nice clean key of Yuval, which we can then take and use in our main comp. And what I've also created here is, let me just come back to the project panel, a uh, clip out of it. So I just basically rendered this comp out as a clip and this is UV flying. And now we can close this flying key and take the UV flying and we will put it just below our stars. And again, please remember that we have here a seven seconds clip on a five seconds comp. So we can use a little bit of the handles in order for our duplicates to not look exactly the same. And now what we will do basically is shut the eye for it because we only need this layer here as a reference, but we will do all of our work on top of a new layer. Okay then, so let's go under layer and create a new solid. I'll select a white color for it and I will call it. Let's make sure it's comp size and choose OK. Now what we want to do here is take the brush clone and clone ourselves a couple of Yuval here in the middle of the screen. So I will take the paint panel and just place it here so we will be able to see all of the necessary information. And what we want to do now is change inside the clone options from source current layer to UV flying.mov. This will allow us to take this information and just paint with it on top of this layer. But we cannot do it inside the composition view. So we'll have to double click and get inside the layer view. Now let's choose a bigger brush by pressing Ctrl or Command and just pressing with the mouse and defining some bigger brush. I would say something like this. Now you can just start to clone and as you can see, we have ourselves our first copy of Yuval. 
Now just make sure that under duration it will set to constant. So basically what we have here is Yuval from the start until the end of our timeline. So this is what we have here, but I want to change it a little bit. So let's drill down our layer and under effect, let's go inside the paint options and see here we've got the clone number one, which is the first shape of Yuval. And what I want to do now is add more superheroes Yuval, but I'm not going to clone them. I will go back into the arrow tool and let's just make some more room to work by closing the paint and the brush tips window. And now what I want to do is take this clone and just duplicate another instance of it. Now, because I have two of them, I can open the second one and just open the transform for it. And now we can basically move the second clone to a different place in our screen. So maybe something like this. And you can also scale it a little bit if you like. Maybe again, rotate it to some other angle, maybe plus 80 degrees. So now we've got ourselves two copies, but they're exactly the same, meaning that if we will start to do a ramp review, we will see that our flying heroes are exactly the same. And I want the second clone to be from a different point of time in our video. And remember, our video footage is a little bit longer and we can do it very easily by going back up and under stroke options, let's make sure that you can see the clone time shift. And what I want to do here is just shift this time to maybe a different point to say maybe one second and 18 frames. So it will look like a variation of the same instance. So now we want to maybe duplicate couple more. So I will, Again, select clone number two, control or command D to duplicate myself another copy. We will open this copy up. We will go again to the clone time shift and maybe choose another point of time for this clone. Maybe something like this. I think maybe two seconds here or maybe a little bit less. Go under its transform properties. We will scale this clone to a lower value, maybe around 50%. We will change its Y position to something like this. Maybe we will also change the rotation for it to, I guess, something like this. And you have to, you know, play with it as always. So I would guess maybe a little bit smaller. And I think that I'm quite happy with it. Let's do this operation one more time. So I will again select my clone number three, duplicate another instance, open its properties, open the stroke options, go down to the clone time shift, choose myself another point of time so it will not look as the other ones, open its transform properties, and we will move this clone to a different point of time, maybe over here. We will also scale this one very, very far away. This will be our smallest superhero. Nudge it a few pixels down and maybe also change the rotation for it to maybe something like this. So now we can close everything up. We can go up to the whole layer, just close it. And we can create a new RAM preview in order to check the superhero group that we have here. And you can see we've got ourselves four copies of the same thing, but they are not looking exactly the same and I really like this variation. Of course, we can look at this full screen to see that everything is working as expected and it does. So let's move out of full screen. We will close the layer panel and now back inside our comp, we can see that we still have the white solid background, but this is very easy to fix. All you need to do is select the layer, go to this effect controls and under paint, just make sure to check the paint on transparent. And this will exclude all the white pixels and just leaves us with our flying superheroes. Now what we want to do is go to the first frame and record an animation for this layer. So I will select P for position. I will record my first keyframe and 
nudge this group over to the right hand side something like this and going to the end frame and let's just make sure that they will fly over our screen and they will disappear something like this also it will be a wise idea to activate the motion blur switch for it go to the first frame let's hover on top of our composition window going back into full frame and let's do our final ramp review in order to check the result of part number four so as you can see the very surrealistic scene that we have here the boats on the water the dancer on the bridge couple of stars falling from the sky and our group of superhero cloners that are just passing by but we have another minor thing that i want to take care of and this is our background our building in the background i'm not going to do it now because I want to leave this to the fifth and final part of this lesson. Until then, I hope you continue to duplicate stuff on your own work. This is Eran Stern for Creative Cow saying goodbye, goodbye, bye, bye-bye, goodbye, bye, good, bye-bye, bye, bye. Okay, okay, you get it.